I don't know how the author comes up with all of these outlandish scenarios, but if you've read, if you ever did me wrong, don't trust me by Octavia Grant, you gonna wonder the same thing too. You wanna hear about it? Here it go. Mario's biggest regret was losing Reese. He hated that he lost the woman that he loved to somebody he didn't want to keep. After years of searching for her, Mario believes that he has a chance to make things right when they finally reconnect. Unfortunately for him, he failed to realize that Reese's happy demeanor and pleasant smile has the true fury burning deep within her. The Reese he once knew is long gone. Now he's left with a scorned, hate-filled, bitter woman hell-bent on revenge. Mario learns the hard way that even when a woman wears an award-winning smile, you never really know what she's thinking. But y'all, one of the ministers in my church, whenever it's time for them to preach, right, they always come up and they say, now if I had to name this sermon, I would call it this. Well, if I had to give this book a subtitle, it would be a line from the book and from the good book, because it's a scripture, 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Bad company corrupts good character. Because our main character, Reese, started off the good girl, okay? Like, she was the epitome of the wifey chick. You know what I'm saying? She's pretty. She's wholesome. She's sweet and she's nice. Everyone likes her. She's smart. All of that. But in true ninja fashion, she got this dude who just... He got to play the field. You know what I'm saying? He got to be out here just acting a whole fool. And he was acting a big fool, y'all. Like, he was doing stuff that you just be feeling like, how did you decide in your head that that was just going to be a good idea? How did you even think that this was not going to turn out really, really bad for you? Somehow, us good girls, we always end up with that one or that two or that eight. You know what I'm saying? But either way, this one for Reese was the one who took the cake. Like he was the straw that broke the camel's back. Cause he pulled some shenanigans on her that I was just like, uh-oh. We're gonna have to see what uh what happens here. Cause this is bad. Like this is this is really bad. And sure enough, honey, it got ugly. And when I tell you, I mean, time went on and on and on. And baby, the way that sis decided that she was going to get back and her man Mario, because see, our main character is Reese. Her man that was on this BS was Mario. Then we got this other chick in the book. That was Valentina. She was trash too. And then we got this other dude named Zeke, okay? So those are the major players in the book. Um, I'm not going to spoil the book for you, however, so y'all go ahead, y'all grab y'all up a copy, y'all read that, y'all can come back, or y'all can watch my interview with the author that's going to be on here as well. I love talking to her. It's always a good time. We just be kikiing and all of that. But anywho, um, Reese, yes, Reese, and then her main thing Mario. Things went bad. It went left. It went really, really bad. And sis ended up back in a place of no return. Like once she was gone, she was gone forever, as Jay-Z would say. Now, some people might think, well, you know, it's all his fault that she is this way. And we blame the man. And... They root for the woman that's getting all of the revenge and stuff, right? And I probably think that at some point in my life, I would have been the person that would have been rooting for her too. Like, get him, girl. Get him, girl. But yeah, no, nah, I don't really even feel like that. Like, as I think about things and how they went through the book, let me tell you about how I look at revenge. <sighs> Revenge, while it may be best served cold, child, 
it ain't even worth being out here trying to get no revenge on folks. Because the best revenge that I find is moving on, living your best life, being happy without said person. That that's the best one. I I know some people probably don't agree. It's like, come on, let's be petty, let's go get them. But nah, child, because honestly, I feel like you worse than the person who originated all of the bad deeds in the first place. Let me tell you why, though. So, a lot of times you have people who do stuff and their intentions don't really be to hurt another person because they don't really be wanting you to find out about it. They just be trying to have their cake and eat it too and, you know, just do what they do out here in these streets. But they don't really be wanting you to be hurt for real because they don't really want you to find out. Anyway. But uh, when it comes to a person who is out here getting revenge... Your intentions is to hurt somebody. And so I don't really know that that makes you any better than the person who initiated, you know, the deceit. I kind of feel like you might be worse. And when it comes to this book, <laughs> baby, listen, Reese, she, mm, Reese was worse. Like, Reese was off the deep end, baby. And, um... Yeah, I couldn't rock with her. With all of the things that had happened to her and her relationships and stuff, I just feel like, baby, I really do wish that you had to just walk away because you out here worse than you out here worse than y'all boo thing. So um, that that was just kind of like my little take on how that goes when it comes to the whole revenge thing. So <sighs> what else I want to tell y'all about? Oh. Let me also say this. No matter how mad you are and upset that you are with somebody, let your anger and your issues stay between you and that person. Don't be bringing innocent bystanders into it. It's just not a good look. Okay, and by innocent bystanders, I mean anybody, whether it's a, a sibling or a parent or even children. Don't be so quick to just be so mad and scorned that you will just draw any and everybody into the foolishness so that you can be out here proving the point. Thus, another reason why our main character was just not a fan favorite for me like she was probably the worst one in the book and i'm curious if anybody agrees with me because i can feel that people are not going to but that's just how i feel about it octavia always gives us roller coaster rides when it comes to her books like it's going to be outlandish honey like it's gonna be some stuff that just ain't really for real for real gonna happen in y'all real life but <laughs> like i always say and if you've been watching my videos for any length of time then you already know what i'm about to say honey i want my drama in my books and not in my what life Okay, and so this book is going to give you all levels of drama, like from beginning to end. It just was a whole roller coaster ride. And you know how when you're riding, you got it where it's just going fast and it's coasting, but it's still scary. And then it do a little loop de loop and all that type of stuff. Yep. Yep. That was the book. That was the book. So, Tell Tell Tales is giving, if you ever did me wrong, don't trust me. By Octavia Grant for acrylic nails. Okay, so granted, these are not acrylic nails. Um, but y'all know I, I talked about I talked about this situation with my hands on my nails and everything in the other video. And I was basically saying that we're not going to talk about my nails and my whole situation. And we don't talk about my nails. No, no, we don't talk about. <laughs> okay, y'all, listen. 
I'm done. I ain't gonna keep playing with y'all on tonight. I'm saying, I'm telling tales. Read a book.